Hey guys, welcome back to Empire. I'm going to continue to build Shang Yang. And in the first part, the previous one, which is a bit shorter than I expected, sorry about that, um, we built up the initial housing block, started growing our food and providing all that stuff to the, the populace. We've also got started on our money making industry of silk for just now. Um, and I'm selling a bit of silk to Lindsay when they come in by water trade and I'll have to build this up much more substantially to export tons and tons of it because it's going to be our money spinner particularly because the next mission, the day, not the next mission but it's the, the, the time you come back here um, you need a massive treasury so it's important that we build up a large um, amount of silk in the city so hopefully this will be enough if I need another silk farm I'll just put another one down since so there's plenty of space and, well, not plenty of workers, but this will evolve sooner or later, which is good. I think that's within range, but obviously this inner bit is going to be filled with as much ceramics as we can, and the outer bit will be all lacquerware and, and things like that. Um, so we're going to start building maybe another housing block. Here comes the trade post from Lindsay, actually. Let's see how much money we make from this. Not a lot, but that's keeping us tidied over and if obviously if this starts to really build up I'll obviously just start um, doing that. Now I know that um, Shu is currently rebelling and one way that I'm going to try and get them to stop rebelling is not by sending a massive army to them because that's pointless. Um, I am going to at least build a fort um, just to simply try and ensure that um, um, we don't have any further rebellions. Um, what I need to do is find a good area for Feng Shui for these things, right? So let's um, destroy some of the trees, like so. And just see, does that have good Feng Shui there? No. Okay, so let's undo that. The trees are in a rather bad place, but they're really good areas for Feng Shui, in my opinion. So let's see. I can put that all the way along there. Just to show you. Um, yeah, so if I put. Um, one and then another one in there. That'd be okay, I think. I'm gonna um, put the road up the center bit here, like so. I will have maybe a bit of a weapon smith industry up here, maybe down here instead. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll um, I'll have the road going like that. I can tell you. Like so. Uh, we'll just delete that bit of road there. And obviously for consistency sake we don't want it connected to the main city so we'll just destroy that bit of road there. Um, so I'm going to have to put down a palace obviously at some point now. Uh, at least these ceramics they are, that's within range. So let's put down a ceramic shop. And I hope it's in range. There's plenty of food in stock so that's okay. Fishing, I'm not really sure if I'll provide fish to this uh, mill because it'll only need um, appetizing food. I'll definitely fish down here quite a bit uh, to provide for the um, impressive compounds. Oh, we've got him wandering off, that's not good. Let's just destroy that tree and straighten up the road a bit. In terms of... Um, actually no, I'm not going to have that fort there, that's not a good place. And this is a good area for um, like um, an impressive block, like an impressive compound there. And there, maybe? I'm not sure where I'll be able to put all of the housing bolts. But I'll try to keep the, the military aspect away from the the city, just kind of cram up the top here. I mean, I don't even have to put it up there, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, for an emissary arrives from Shu, who wants to give me. Oh, nice, a panda. Um, that'll get us towards the goal. Um, let's see. Um, I mean, I don't have to put the military over there, even though that's good feng shui areas. I mean, I could just put it anywhere. I mean, even over here would be a good area. Let's see. It's kind of a good area over here, I suppose. Um, we'll have to obviously work out where I can put it. Um, down here is also a good area, so maybe down there. I just spread it all out over this bit as well. Even so, I could put it um, maybe a few down there. I don't know. Uh, but I need to put down the palace, obviously, so let's find a place for it. Which is where? Because they're all bad Feng Shui areas. So I don't want to put it there because I'll just block in all of that, which is not good. Uh, what the heck, we might as well put it in... There, I think. Um, I'll put that down. 
So, there we go. So you just to get that staffed. These houses will evolve, they'll be able to get up to our gate apartment, I think. I guess we'll let that run, this will staff, which is what we want. 34, that's not too bad. Um, so let me just destroy this road because it's going to be in the way. Uh, so I'm not putting the, the military up here. I might kind of cram it all the way along the the top bit here, I think. Oh, a fire in the city. Now, how has that happened? Oh, I think it's because of the fact that... Uh, oh, it's saved, it's okay. I think it's because of the fact that the inspector went up that way when he shouldn't have done. Now, let's see if I can put down a couple of ports. One. There's the panda. Take it. It's funny that they're giving me that even though they're supposed to be rebelling. Never mind. Uh, let's put that there, like so. Can I get another one in there? Maybe. We'll put two forts just up, um, up this kind of area. And I'll kind of um, maybe have a little iron making industry up just here. Um, around this kind of area. So we'll just destroy this road a bit more. Just destroy the road a bit because it's kind of getting in the way. I will kind of just zigzag this out like so. I will put down two of these and we need to import iron obviously. Uh, for Huan Shan, I think is a good area to import iron from. And we're going to put down this and that. That's going to accept weapons. That out like so. I'm just going to check the feng shui for this trading post, which is good there. So I'll put that there and start importing some iron. Obviously, I'll move this stuff over out of the way somewhere later when this is all fully staffed. I might even put it down here or something just to make sure because I need to sell lacquerware to Quan Shan later on anyway. So our house is all fully stabled up to our native apartment. I've always so got access to deals, which is good. Um, I'm not sure what else I can do. Obviously now that I put that um, palace there, I can't move it without losing the animal in it, which is not helpful in any way at all. Plenty of silk being made, so I'm going to put this up to 6 instead of um, 4, because why not? Oh, and a foreign emissary from the Nomad Camps wants to come in. And he wants to give me a Gobi Bear. A uh, foreign emissary from Huan Sha wants to enter the city. He wants to give me a load of wood, but... Um, Let's see, the wood is a thing for the monument. Let's just put the footprint down for this monument just to put it somewhere. Um, I don't want to kind of put it in an awkward location because I want to make sure there's space for the Terracotta Army monument that has to go down. Uh, so I'll put it there, I think. I'll put that just there. Yeah, that's a nice place for it. Okay, I'm going to go down like this. And I think there's a ramp. Just the back bit here, there is, so let's just destroy some of the trees, not all of them, but just a few. Like so. Now, can I get a bridge to span that? I could get one there, but that's no use. Um, and I can have some bridges spanning there, but I don't want that. So I'm going to have to put down the ferries, which is not helpful. One. Oh, that's not a valid... Oh, why did it say that was? That was lame. I said I could place it there, but now, now it can't. What? That's a glitch for some reason, I think. I could put it there, that'll do. We'll just do that. And put a roadblock on the end bit here. We don't need people wandering off into that bit. So we'll put down um, a warehouse here to accept wood. And like so. This is not going to be connected to the rest of the city, so don't worry. And uh, we've got plenty of workers coming in. 443. Let's put down a uh, labourer's camp then. Um, let's see. Two. Three. We'll do that instead. Like so. And I'll just kind of delete some of that road. There we go. He's just wandering up the up the garden path quite literally and he's just going straight back. So there's some labourers camps here which will provide um, this to get going. 
Um, carpenter's Guild, so let's put down. Um, if you want to. <coughs> excuse me. And we'll not bother with the masons just yet because I think there's stone in this map. Um, no, there isn't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. There's no stone on the map. Okay. Um, let's just give um, food to the gods to get them out of that space because that's annoying. So the hemp's coming in, plenty of hemp. These are all evolved, that's great. And I think I may have to build another housing block soon because um, reasons. And we'll put another couple of uh, these down, which is good. And um, we're not importing. Oh no, we are importing iron. It's just not making enough weapons just yet. Okay, fine. And uh, the month has passed. I think no, it's not. Come on, speed up. Right, let's get rid of um, some wheat. Like so. And I need to give him bills as well. Let's put this up to ten and ten, just temporarily, just to kind of empty it out. Still not empty, it's not helpful. Why did they keep going into that road tile? I don't want them going in that road tile. Let's get rid of all the wheat. I get rid of that. And well, it's left to go. More food, which is not helpful. And so I'm going to have to build a second housing block, I think. Yes, because we're almost out of employment. What I might do is move this administrative city somewhere else just so I could get. Um, this out of there so I can put more houses. Um, I'll go and plan that out and start maybe working towards the elite housing because I'll need that soon. Um, and I'll do that off camera because I don't want to bore you. Okay so I've put in some more houses. I've moved the administrative city over here now. When I was going to check my trading stations, for some random reason, I don't know why, but Shu is trading with us while they're rebelling as a vassal. Um, that's a glitch, I'm pretty sure. That's not supposed to happen. They're not supposed to be trading while they're um, rebelling against us, so... I'm not actually sure why that's happened. Um, I think according to the patch, that was supposed to have been fixed, but it never was, so... It was a waste of time, in my opinion. Um, let's set this up to 8, because now they're going straight there from this over there to trade, so... Obviously, there's now a need to get rid of a lot of silk. Um, lots of workers coming in, obviously, because uh, 90 workers needed. Um, so this will probably fill that up. Um, I might just sort out the road tile, just kind of deleted it, they just kind of vanished, um, which was not altogether the best idea, but who cares. Um, so I'll probably put uh, maybe a couple of hemp farms, maybe another food farm in that space, and all the other remaining food farms will probably go up in this kind of area here. Uh, once I've assessed how, how, how many more silk farms I've put down. Uh, this space just in here will be for like trading stations with uh, Wu. And there's that glitch again. Now it said that they were trading and now they're not. So they're kind of glitching out at the moment for some weird reason. Why I don't know. Maybe it's to do with favour when I got the, um, the gift of a panda. Maybe it's something to do with that. Oh well, um, our military is kind of building up, which we need anyway, because you should always always ensure that you have a military in a mission, even if it's just two forts. Um, I'm not have that one going right to there, I'll have it to there. I'll have kind of all the forts crammed up this kind of corner here, because there's a lot of rock and trees here, so that's going to provide the earth, no, the, the fire element, sorry. Um, why is the mint still there? Because as far as I can remember, you can only put one mint, so... Strange. There's fine silk, which is good. Worker shortage is not really sorting, but it's getting there. And um, what I'm going to do is give um, a load of ceramics to Shu to try and shut them up and stop them rebelling, because there are two ways you can stop rebellions. I mentioned it in Hal back in the the Cho Dynasty. Um, you can either send um, troops to quell a rebellion, which hardly ever works. Or you can um, just give them loads of gifts and hope they stop. Um, if you click on the rebellion, it says, The leader of this vassal is still rebelling against you, but you have gained significant favour with the city. Perhaps if you sent another rich gift to him or something they desire, you could end this rebellion peacefully. But if you are feeling martial, then dispatch a military force of enough strength to quell the rebels. 
don't do that, there's no point. Um, so I assume that the shoe trader will just keep randomly appearing. Um, I'm going to try and get onto this lacquerware stuff as well. I also want to make some weapons because I think Wanshan will require troops anyway, that's why I'm building up a, a military here. Plenty of iron coming into stock which is good. Um, but I need to build up some elite housing just in this space here. Oh, Lindsay needs wood. Do we have eight wood? We only have one in the city and we've only got three months so let's put down um, loads of logging sheds. One, two, three, four. We'll put four of them down because there's plenty of trees here so we'll hopefully try and reach that goal for Lindsay and we want to please them obviously. They don't need wood so that's okay, that'll just go straight to stockpile. Um, I need to build up this silk industry obviously to a point where I'm just making so much that it's ridiculous. So one, two, three, three. And I hope that doesn't kill them off. No it doesn't, that's good. So if I put down maybe a couple more silk worm sheds. One, two, three, two, three. Like so. Mm, a bit further down than I needed to but cares. Plenty of space though so that's okay. Loads of weavers that are not running which is not helpful in the slightest. I might have to put down maybe if I destroy some of these trees I should be able to get another um, one in there that's okay. Not enough space though for all of this so I might have to forgo perfect harmony that I've got here just to build more uh, of these but I'll think about that when it, the time comes. Um, Lots of um, workers needed, so what I'm going to do is plan out another housing block and see how it turns out. Oh, Huan Shan is under attack. The nomad camps is attacking Huan Shan, and there is no way I can um, dispatch troops because I don't have enough troops of, of my own. Um, I'm just going to um, unfortunately postpone that. Lindsay's still waiting for wood. Fine, whatever. Um, I mean, I've only got like seven troops I can't send a battalion off otherwise I'll be invaded because I'll be seen as weak not fair in any way at all and um, let's see um, I'm still playing at this high housing block I might have to move this so that I can um, get it in properly so if I can just see maybe if I have a good place for it I'll do and um, so I'll continue playing that out and obviously I won't be bothering to send troops to Han Shan because I can't but I'll keep the city around I think so it's not like it's a big deal so who cares they can go screw themselves right so we've got our housing block planned out unfortunately the way I've placed it means I might not be able to get a third block just in there so I might have to um, move stuff around or maybe just kind of put another housing block down here I don't know but we'll need three housing blocks at a minimum to stay have a stable city for some random reason we now have a huge number of workers needed so I don't know what's caused that but who cares at this point we've just kind of gotten on okay so that's okay and so we'll just kind of draw the road out like this maybe just roadblock just there um, no we're not celebrating the new year don't care and uh, Huang Shan and Lindsay think Lindsay may be uh, less of me, sorry, because I didn't send them the stuff they wanted. So they're sympathetic, that's kind of the lowest level. And um, Shu is still rebelling, which is not very helpful, but we're, I'm just going to keep sending them gifts of ceramics and maybe that'll shut them up. Because uh, that usually works, I just cleared out my supply, which was not a good idea, but never mind. Um, I can put in more housing around the outer edge here if I need to. I don't think I will, but. We'll see, right? So our housing is stabilising. Food is pretty much stable to a degree. There goes out the guy to get, give them ceramics. Maybe that'll shut up. Making some money way out of selling silk, loads of it. Hopefully enough to make a massive profit off the bean counters. Um, let's put a um, warehouse there, which is going to accept more silk because we need tons of it. Uh, because this is disconnected for the rest of the city, I'll have a getting storage yard bring the silk up here for the impressive compounds. So I'll have an impressive compound area down here and uh, maybe one over here, I don't know. You'll find out soon enough, won't you? I kind of built it in the wrong place because I'm going for, I'm trying to go for perfect harmony where possible and um, they need help. 
and they need ceramics as well. And what I'll do is I'll put a road going out like this and I'll have that roadblock like so, so they have a quicker route to get around to the ceramics. But there's not much ceramics in stock at the moment, which isn't helpful. Uh, houses should be stabilised. It must be that these houses devolved for some random reason, but they're now stabilising, so... No idea what that was about. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to lower this to 9 and 9 because there's not enough supply. There's too much in there, so it's not helping. Um, what I'm actually going to do is set this uh, up to 12. No, not that. That one's set to 8. The millet and wheat will be up to 12, and then that'll kind of give an equal balance. And then it's full completely, and that'll provide three food types, which is good. So this will evolve, we'll get more workers, and I'll obviously concentrate on to building this. Um, let's see. That's going to accept lacquerware. Um, I'm not sure about uh, whether I'll trade with um, Ying. Maybe I will, I'll just sell them lacquerware. I mean, we can import 36 lacquer from Shu, which is a ridiculous amount. I'm um, still building up my forces, just at a very slow rate. They're still importing um, iron into the city. I'll probably move this later if I have to sell more lacquerware. How much does uh, Huang Shan buy? They buy 12, Ying buys 24, and Wu buys 12, so I might not bother, really, to be honest with you. I mean, I might just sell everything but lacquerware. We'll see, though. And this is Buffin Rage, which is good. I kind of roll that up like that. I can, that's good. Shoe grateful for ceramics, so let's destroy some of that road. Like so, and have this more straighter, which is better. So they just need to get ceramics and they'll evolve fully, which is what we want. Plenty of iron in stock, which is good. Now build up this military quite substantially. Um, I'll probably cut it off. I'll go and plan off uh, an elite block now, because we really need to reach some of these goals. The monument is sort of slowly progressing at its own rate. I want to make sure that there's tons and tons of money in the city, so that when we come to do this mission again, um, uh, at the end of the campaign, we have like so much money that it doesn't matter. Uh, so I'll go and plan out an elite block now and see how it turns out. So here's my elite block just here, and uh, let's just speed the game up. Uh, took a bit of planning, and I'm going for a 6 and a 4 block to reach the 200 people, because that is a lot. So let's put these down. Oh, no ceramics. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see, we'll put down that, that. Oh, I didn't even have a crate of ceramics, which is annoying. I kind of had to improvise the layout. I've just tried to kind of get them in as best as I can, but of course it's never perfect. Um. Let's see, can I put that there? I can, that's good. Uh, can I put the Ancestral Shrine over here? And I can put the Tax Collector over this side. So we'll get rid of that. And hopefully I should be able to get in with that. Nope, still can't get it in. Let's see, where's this got to go? That's got to go... Right, that and put that there. Find out where this has got to go. That's... Um, there, and if we put the dearest buildings down just now, like so, we'll find out where they have to go. Um, um, that, oh dear, this is going to put me into, well, I'm going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to um, lose perfect harmony, I'm sorry. One building is all it takes. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to lose my perfect harmony just to build this elite block properly. If I move the the stuff down maybe a tile or two, I would have been able to get it, or no, not that way, but upwards, if you know what I mean. I would have been able to get it all in perfectly, I think. But, never mind. Um, our ceramic supply will be increased, I think, because we are making far too little. And um, this is getting a bit tight, so I might have to move things around a bit more. Um, let's see. Um, kill another one there. Um, can I put that? Uh, I can. Uh, let's see. Let's delete that. Rework this road a bit. Let's get rid of that because that's just getting in the way. Uh, let's put that there. In the corner, quite literally. And I'll put a roadblock there so they always go around like that just for the sake of it. It just means they don't get a messed up pattern. 
now let's put down um, more kilns like so. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is good. Clears up some of the unemployment as well. Um, this is going to have to get moved because that's in such a terrible place in my opinion. Let's put down a fourth. I won't have space left for more. I'll only have two more clay pits and that's it, which is not helpful in the slightest. I surrounded this um, mill with a road. I don't don't ask me why I decided to do that, but eh, who cares? Let's just kind of do that, straight it out, and that makes it kind of a bit more cleaner. Because then I really have to, it's only having to go zigzag around that bit there anyway. Slowly running out of money, not making enough from um, selling silk. So I need to try and get another trading post put down to sell more silk. Let's see who buys silk. Um. I think it's just Lindsay and An Yi that buy silk, so let's put down a trading post here for An Yi. I know that when we come back to this mission, there are tons of trading routes that become available that also buy silk, so we'll be able to sell ridiculous levels of it. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to have to put down yet another silkworm shed, so let's sort that out. Um, let's see. One, two, three, one, two, three, there we go. I'll have to be the last silkworm shed because I don't have space for any more. Uh, let's put that down like so. There we go. Uh, this remaining space over here will be used for more food farms, I think, because it's not enough. Uh, I hope that's in within range. It is. That's okay. Uh, why is that set to command? It should be set to appetizing. Right, they need access to a herbalist, which they don't have access to, so let's put that back down. And uh, knowing our salvation festival, screw you. Let's put down another elite block, uh, another elite house in there. I'm going to put down hemp, ceramics, and there's also no place for my warehouse to go, so I'm just going to have to ruin the perfect feng shui again by putting this here and set this to get a small amount of silk, not tons, just four will do. And this area here will be developed to have lacquerware, obviously, loads of it. Let's see, where's the good places for this? All along the bottom here and all along the sides. Let's do one, two, three, four wood cutters, logging sheds, whatever you want to call them. Plenty of trees over here, which makes for a good place for it all. Um, is that. Oh no, there's no balls. That was a fail. I should have put that back down. Um, let's put the administrative city just here. I think it's a good place. I realise I haven't put that back. Fail. Fail by me completely. At least I noticed it. So this will all get back to work again, which is good. We'll start getting some tax off, uh, tax collection, I think. Bit of unemployment, which is good. Even at a high wage rate, which is good. Large pass is kind of going on okay. I think there's enough space here for the other monuments, so that's okay. You notice there's a black hole there. It's just a glitchy tile, I think. Glitchy tiles happen quite a lot in it, that I'll point out. What's our gods like? We've gone quite a long time without giving them anything. Let's give them a bunch of hemp just because we've got tons of it in stock. Um, let's see, they're within range, that's okay. They need silk, that's okay. In terms of housing, um, I'm probably going to have to put the third common block um, up here somewhere. Oh, a foreign emissary from Clan Shan arrives to give us a bunch of wood. How useful. And it's all building up in here as well, which is not helpful. Uh, can I get that in there? I can if I um, destroy a couple of trees, like so. Let's put that there and accept. Um, uh, where is it? Wood. There it is. Just don't fill it up all at once. We can give Nuwa a bunch of wood as well. I'm going to try and get Nuwa in here and capture some animals since we've got a uh, pheasant that we could put in the the thing anyway so there's uh, there's that um, I'm gonna have to expand on our food court and our food farms and all that I just realized we haven't put down anything for fishing yet so let's go ahead and do that there's a good bit of straight line course just down here which is actually quite nice let's destroy some trees now where's a good place for the village Another place that I could put it. Not there. Nope. The only place to build a bridge is here. Um, I vaguely recall I could put one here. That's what I was looking for. 
But I don't think I'll put it there, actually. I think I'll put it there and just kind of have it all... Um, like this. Let's destroy some more trees, because they're just getting in the way and out of building roads. Let's put this up. Like so. Now where's all the fishing gonna go? I'll put... Uh, there's bad harmony there because of rocks, I think, because of the, the cliff. Yes, yeah, so I can't put one there, so let's put one, two, three, four... I mean, it doesn't really matter about bad harmony, does it? I mean, because I'm not going for perfect feng shui anymore now anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's put that there, just to ruin the harmony a bit more. And I'm going to have this connected all the way up here. And I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to straighten that out, obviously, so let's just do that. And I'm going to have another mill down here it's set to accept four food types, because I'll need the four food types, I think. And if I put it um, there, I can do that quite nicely. So let's do bean curd, fish, millet, and wheat. All there. If I can, what I'll do is I'll just move that over here instead, just to get it out of the way. Um, because why not? I'll just put a roadblock there. And I'm going to put a roadblock just there. And I'm going to have some up here. I'm going to have a some trees destroyed like so, just so I can put that in. And then the remaining space is going to be used for as many fishing keys as I can fit in. Like so. There we go. Let's just straighten this out a bit. Employees needed, yes I know. And put that like so, there we go. So that'll provide some fish into the system, which will get these up a bit higher. And they need silk, so let's put down a silk shop. And for the hell of it, let's just put down the lacquerware shop, even though we're not making any lacquerware of any type at all. Um, so let's give even more ceramics to um, Shu, because we need to quell that rebellion somewhat. Um, 45 people can enter the city, that's not enough. Let's put down a bunch of houses. I'll leave a gap just there just to put some statues in, that'll help Lindsay wants to give us more wood, so that's good. The constant gifts are actually quite helpful, um, but don't rely on them obviously because they're not going to be a, a, a consistent source of stuff that you need, so let's go with... Does that evolve the wall? That does, that's good. Just build all of these. Uh, what's the harmony like? It's all fairly good. Um, let's destroy that and destroy some of the trees, like so. And then I'll clear that out. There we go. There we go. Um, more housing, can, um, more people can come into our city, which is good. But they need tasty food, so let's set this to tasty food minimum. The fish will stabilise as it all wanders up here, obviously. Um, let's see what else. Um, the Ministry of City's running. This has got tax. These are getting taxed, and I'll provide us an exorbitant amount of funds, I have to admit. And then we've got, um, obviously, the, the this elite house. So we can now start putting down more forts, which we're going to need. So let's put down... Um, can we get one in? I can get one in there, which is not altogether helpful. Let's put one there. And another one there. And another one there. Let's just do this, just to have it going somewhere, and let's really block that just there. So these will make some more weapons, which is good, and we'll be able to build up our military substantially. So, no, still nowhere near any of the goals yet, but our fishing is coming in, which is good. I know that there is a request for fish, maybe when we come back to Shangang, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll leave it there for this video, we'll just give a bunch of um, wood to Nuwa. She's exalted, which is good. Um, I think she could get to the pheasants over here. Um, if not there, she'll be able to get over there sooner or later. Anyway, I'll leave it for this mission, this video, sorry. In the next part, we're going to come back to Shangang and continue building this city. And obviously, grow our funds much more than we because um, we're seriously nowhere near reaching the goals at the moment. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye now.